Well, hello everyone welcome back guys hope you all are doing well today we are going to attempt the first lab from web cache deception vulnerability module so this lab is all about exploiting the path mapping of web cache deception that's been said let's see the description of this lab to solve the lab find the api key of the user carlos you can log in to your own account using the following credentials fine so click on this button which i already clicked and this is our lab so I'm directly going to uh, login and before that I just wanna enable burp proxy on my browser so let's go so the first thing once I log in we can see that here we have the API key fine the first thing is to identify the endpoint and identify the feature which you can test for the web cache deception so because the web cache deception is more about exfiltrating some private or sensitive information from the origin server and put it into the cache and then the attacker is going to retrieve that information from the cache so here you can see if we as a wiener user once logged in we get on this page api key that means another user from the same application if he logged in he will also get the api key and as you know the api key is a very sensitive information which you should avoid or which you should take care that no one knows it is same like your password okay so our purpose here to retrieve this api key for the user carlos so this is very convincing endpoint which we can try for the web cache deception but up to now we do not have any idea whether this application is vulnerable for web cache deception or not because we don't know up to now that if cache mechanism is in place or not so let's go and i'm just going um, to see these requests so this is the post request for the login okay i'm going to uh, click from the beginning and see one by one so you can see this is very normal request this is very normal response login again this is very normal and this request is also very normal uh, just you can see there is uh, this url as i mentioned before that this is a traditional url uh, our traditional URM mapping if uh, you access this URL because this is the exact this is the exact path of the tracking.js file but the response is pretty interesting why because you can see here cache mechanism is in place so once we try to access tracking.js the request goes first to the cache server and because cache server does not has that response already stored in the cache so here it's saying miss means i don't have any response and then this request is forwarded to the origin server and origin server reply or respond to that request go to the cache and now the request now the response is stored in the cache so next time if you try to uh, access the same uh, resource you will get here hit fine so x cache header response header is telling us that the cache mechanism cache mechanism is in place and also if you see this cache control response header maximum age is 30 seconds so that means uh, it will store the response in the cache for 30 seconds after 30 seconds the response is automatically cleared and after that if anyone come to try to access the same resource it is again going to ask to the origin server and then put again that resource 30 seconds into the cache so this is pretty convincing and we know that the cache is in place fine so similarly you can see here so any static resource you try to access you see in the response there is cache but if there is any dynamic resource which is same like slash my account you can see this response is not coming from cache because there is no response header that is indicating us that 
cache is in place in between me and the origin server so okay but we know that cache is there so i'm going to send this request to the repeater and try to send again the request and as you can see we get the normal response even if you send this request thousand times you will again and again get the same response headers and in these response headers you will not find any uh, sign of the cache but uh, whatever time you send the request you will get the api key of the wiener user fine okay so now from here we will try to build our exploit and we will uh, first test the web cache deception and how we will do that we uh, already discussed about this in the previous lab where i uh, where i described the web cache deception vulnerability if i put here any um, arbitrary uh, path let's say slash asdf and send this request you can see again the response header does not contain any cache and also uh, we have the api key why because the origin server in this scenario there is no cache right in this scenario there is no cache but what we can consider that the origin server even if you put here one more uh, directory path but the origin server is only um, only considering the url up to my account okay so what if what if now as we saw before here that dot js this static path is uh, acceptable by the cache so why not make this request and this arbitrary path into the arbitrary resource so let's say asdf.js and send this request and this time let's see what happened now you can see here this time once you put dot js you can see x cache response header is added uh, cache control is also added and you can see the maximum age is 30 so it will store the response for 30 seconds but because this is the first request and the response is not in uh, not in the cache so age is zero um, fine but if i send this again you can see we get hit because this time we do not go directly to the origin server uh, we go to the cache and cache said okay i already have the response so the cache served this response to us so there is no role for the origin server in this request and you can see the 37 second already passed so i think up to now when i am talking and going to send this request again uh, so you can see here miss because 30 seconds have been passed and again the cache is cleared so again it goes to the origin server but the important point here is you can see still we have our api key but the thing is we can we can know one thing from this scenario what the first thing is origin server origin server is following the restful url mapping and the cache is handling the url by traditional url mapping fine so you can see there there is a disagreement or discrepancy between the origin server and the cache because both are interpreting the url in different in different way one is following the restful url mapping and the second one is uh, interpreting the url by traditional url mapping so we will exploit this disagreement between the origin server and the cache server so what i am going to do here is suppose that i am an attacker and i find out this vulnerability and i reach to that conclusion now what i will do i will go and I will publish my page and I will try to send the link to the uh, victim user and once victim user will click that link and try to access that resource the request will go to the cache cache will see okay I don't have the response then it will send to the origin server origin server interpret the URL only up to here but because the user once the user 
try to click that link user must be logged in and in the request the session cookie is already there in the request so the origin server will respond to the cache server with the victim api key and then by accessing this url the attacker can get the api key of that user so let's see so this is suppose that our exploit server and what i'm going to do here is a script close the script tag and document dot location is equal to and i'm just going to copy this url and paste it here store it and let's say we are going to deliver this exploit to the carlos user okay so let's see once we deliver this to the carlos user we will see whether carlos user access this url or not this url or not so you can see carlos user already access this url so what we will do we will again try to access this same url because once the carlos user access that url the web server origin server is going to put the response uh, send the response to the cache with the api key of the carlos user and because we as an attacker is now accessing the cache server after the carlos user access that link or that uh, arbitrary url so now we are going to get the api key of the carlos from the cache so you can see now here the user is carlos and this is the api key of the carlos user so this is the complete scenario of the web cache deception vulnerability and this is how you can exploit that vulnerability fine so i hope you enjoy the lab and i hope you understand the concept this is very easy not a rocket science you just need to uh, focus on each part one by one there are only two or three points you need to uh, keep in mind okay so i'm going to copy this key um, copy and back here um, let's go and submit the solution paste that and okay and we solve the lab fantastic so that's it for this lab if you like the content please like subscribe and share and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye